Hi, this is a small demonstration of the two classical models that I make. Uh, the Heinrich, the Heinrich August Grenzer copy and a Heinrich Grenzer copy. Uh, I'll start with the August Grenzer because it's the earlier one of the two. It's based on an original in the Gemeente Museum in The Hague. Uh, the original has one key and it's a fairly late instrument in the career of August. It's dated uh, on the foot, it's dated 1796, so two years before August Grenzer died. Um, that instrument is designed to work at, at the lower end of the pitches, so 415, 420, 430. We have uh, available code de change. Um, I have an instrument here which is in uh, Grenadille, um, with a box with code de change because I couldn't find the Grenadille bit that goes with this flute. But uh, just to give you an idea of what this flute sounds like at 4.30. At 4.15 it would sound slightly more baroque-ish, but still very brilliant, very bright and very clear, which is what you want in a classical flute. is based on an original in uh, Stockholm. That original is a full 8 key flute in boxwood. Uh, this instrument dates from fairly late in Heinrich Prenz's career, so probably around 1805, 1805, 1810. Uh, I make it with a C foot joint or with a D foot joint. And as for the keys, it's got the usual 8 key combi combination with a double lever for the F. Uh, I make it either as a full 8 key flute, or you can have a 6 key with a D foot joint, or a 4 key without the long F and the C key. Uh, if you want something that's a little lighter and plays a bit more like a Baroque flute, um, with just the additional um, key once in a while, if you want to use if you have a good F or a good B flat once in a while. Uh, but don't want to use the keys all the time. And of course I do make it uh, as a one key version at 4.30. That instrument is designed to work more towards the higher end of the pitches, so at 4.30, 4.40. And this is what it sounds like at 4.40. slightly brighter in the sound than the um, August Grenzer. The bore of the head joint is narrow, but the rest of the bore is quite similar. So the two instruments are fairly similar. Uh, the main difference being actually in the head joint. So it's a narrow bore for the narrow, slightly narrower bore for the Heinrich Grenzer and a little bit bigger embouchure as well. Um, with the C foot joint, this instrument sounds a little darker and the high register is a little easier. Yeah, so this, this would be a good choice if you want a classical flute. It sounds really bright, really classical, um, and only want to go for a 430 instrument. I would say the August Grenzer is a better instrument to choose if you just really want a, a one keyed flute uh, with 430 and with the option of 415. Um, please note that the difference between the sound of uh, the two instruments that I'm demonstrating here is also because of the different woods. Uh, one, the, the August Grenzer copy that I have here is in Grenadier, um and this one is in Boxwood. I can make either of them in either words. This can be in Grenadier or in Ebony, and this can be in Boxwood as well. So that's it.